Have you noticed your baby's eyes turning inwards or maybe even outwards and you're wondering like um, when do I do something about this? Is this an issue? Do they need you know to see an eye doctor right away or is this something we just need to watch for now? Um, well that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I am Dr. Obidi, a pediatrician at Partners in Pediatrics and Family Health and CEO of Newborn Prep Academy where we teach you what to expect about your newborns um, so you can care for them confidently. And today I'm going to talk about something that comes up, you know, fairly often actually when I see newborns and that is a mom or dad who complains that or brings up a concern that the, one of their eyes for the newborns typically is turning inwards. Um, so it's sort of misaligned what you will call crossed eyed, right? Um, and they're concerned because they're not sure what to do about it. So should you do anything about it? Um, what um, is that all about? So our eyes, when they develop, you know, as babies, when we're born, our eyes um, start to learn how to um, almost as a way of find each other, where they are able to track along the same line. And so they are well, they're aligned. So if I'm looking straight at the camera, for instance, right now, both eyes are looking, you know, two at the camera. And if I turn to the, my left, um, both eyes turn to the left and same for the right as well. Now with, um, um, a condition um, where your eyes are misaligned, which is called strabismus, that's the medical term, um, the eyes are misaligned, so they're not necessarily tracking with each other. And you could have two general forms of strabismus. Um, one of them is esotropia, where the eyes turn inwards, or one or both of the eyes turn inwards, and, esot and esotropia, or esotropia, um, ex exotropia, where they turn outwards. All right, so isotropia and exotropia. Um, and um, those conditions can sometimes, you know, develop randomly in newborns. Um, and so when do you need to worry? Well, up until six months of age, this can happen intermittently. So which means that it, it ha you see it, so, you know, one, mi one moment and the next moment it's not there anymore. Um, that's an intermittent um, isotropia typically because it's turning inwards. And that doesn't, doesn't necessarily um, have to be worked on right away. It's something you can um, bring to the attention of your pediatrician and something they typically will just watch if it's not something that is persistent, all right? Um, however, if you do have isotropia that is persistent, especially at six months of age, that becomes an issue that needs to be addressed right away because it, it, starts to, it can affect your vision from developing. When the eyes are not tracking together, basically um, the brain starts to see two separate vision, uh, two separate images, and is not able to bring those images together, which is what happens in normal vision, where we see with our left eye, we see with our right eye, and the brain merges both, both uh, images together to give us depth perception where we can tell when something is, um, how far away something is, and we can tell, someone almost like see in 3D not almost, see in 3D. Um, that's typically what's happening when, um, that, when your, your vision is developing and when your eyes are seen together and are well aligned. But when it's not well aligned, that can be an issue because then your eyes start to see two separate images and is not able to bring them together. And typically what the brain ends up doing over time when this is not addressed is that it suppresses the image in one eye so that um, you don't see those double images and so that can actually lead to blindness in one eye over a period of time. Now, this doesn't happen in months. It does happen over years. Um, but you do want to address this issue as soon as possible because you want to try and restore that depth perception. So again, um, if you're newborn, um, you notice that the eyes are tracking in and out, you know, inwards usually, um, and it's very intermittent. So it's not persistent. It, it comes and it goes. You should bring it. You should always bring all these concerns up with your pediatrician so they can look at all of your baby, make sure there are no other red flags to be concerned about. And if everything else looks okay, you're probably just going to watch for the first several months to see what happens because it typically will go away as your baby learns to um, track both eyes together. However, if it is persistent at six months or you yourself are noticing that your baby is still having um, an eyes that are turned in at six months, you certainly want to bring that to your pediatrician because they do need to see an eye doctor um, so that they can get further evaluation to figure out what to do in terms of management, which really 
can involve several things, including patching one eye to strengthen the other, surgery sometimes um, to, to strengthen muscles, um, just watching uh, it's longer if they feel um, that it's too early to do surgery. Um, that's certainly something that a specialist will take into consideration and decide on the best way to handle. But for now, what you need to know is if your baby has eyes that are turned inwards or outwards um, intermittently here and there, um, within the first you know, several months, few months of life, um, it should be maybe something that just needs to be watched. You should again bring that to the attention of your pediatrician. But if it is persistent at six months, you definitely want to have that seen and evaluated further um, so it can be managed appropriately. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, this is Dr. Obidi, pediatrician at Partners in Pediatrics and Family Health and CEO of Newborn Prep Academy. Uh, wherever you're watching this, there are going to be links where you can click to get more information and more support as we teach you how to care for your newborn confidently. Um, and until next time, bye.